hello, hello. Thank you for joining me today at the park, not at the farm. Change of scenery. It's threatening rain, but I thought we could squeeze in a quick practice together. This practice is at the request of Sydney, who also sent me this lovely, well, she brought it to me. She brought me my new favorite shirt. It says, eat local, and as a mom and baby breastfeeding, because those of you who know me personally know that I've been on my own nursing journey for over three years now, and it's something that is very dear to my heart. So join me today on your mat, if you're at the beach like Sydney, lucky Sydney, uh, join me on your mat though, come standing to the front of your mat, this will be a largely standing practice at Sydney's request. So come into mountain, as always, coming into our breath, close your eyes, your feet are hip distance apart, just thinking about grounding here and coming into your breath. Take three breaths, inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it all out of your mouth. You may feel silly doing that if someone else is in the room especially, but trust me, it is worth it. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, out your mouth. And one more inhale through your nose. And exhale fully out of your mouth. <laughs> that bird has some opinions on us being here. <laughs> Hello, bird. On an inhale, sweep your arms up over your head for tall mountain. Exhale, your hands to heart center, bowing your head. Inhale, your arms up for tall mountain, your gaze follows your hands. Exhale, hands to heart center, allowing your head to bow. Inhale one more time. Follow that gaze. Follow your hands with your gaze. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale your arms overhead. Bringing your hands to prayer over your head, or you could do interlacing your fingers like this. Either way, coming into a standing position with your arms over your head. Not pressing your shoulders down, but also creating space between your shoulders and your ears by lengthening through the crown of your head. Inhale, extend through your spine and exhale. Bend to your left, opening through that right side body. Breathing here. Inhale to center. You can have your eyes open or closed here, whatever's comfortable. And exhale, bending to your right, opening through your left side body. center on your next inhale and exhale your hands down to your sides take your hands behind your back clasping your hands behind you generously bend your knees and exhale into a forward fold allowing your hands to come to the front of your mat walk last breathing here allowing your lower back to let go creating space in your spine, between your shoulders, up through your neck. Although our new perspective tells us shoulders to the neck is now a down, not up. On your next exhale, begin to slowly rise releasing your breath as you bring your head back to neutral, but being the last thing to rise. Inhale your arms overhead again. And exhale, your hips just slightly forward, creating a small back bend. Inhale, back to neutral. And exhale, bringing your hips forward just slightly. Inhale to neutral, and one more. Exhale, slightly bring your hips forward. Allow your hands to drop to your side body again for some shoulder rolls. We'll start by bringing our shoulders forward, up, and back. Or if you started the other way, that's okay. 
We'll be changing directions in one more breath. When your shoulders drop again, switch directions. For me, that means bringing them back, up, and forward. And returning to neutral. Thinking about grounding down through our feet. Turn your palms so they're facing the front of your mat. Lift up through all ten toes, grounding through the corners of your feet and bringing your toes to the mat one at a time. Standing for tall mountain. Regular, strong mountain, sorry. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, begin to peel up through that right heel be coming into tree. Bring the palm of your foot <laughs> to rest against your calf, or maybe you prefer to bring your foot up higher for tree. Wherever your tree is today, allow your tree to be there. Finding stability here as you feel maybe the wind is on you. Maybe there's commotion around you. Whatever's going on, bring your attention back to your body. Thinking of being strong through that grounded foot, strong through that grounded leg, and begin to reach your arms overhead. Inhaling, exhaling. Maybe you'd like to find some movement in your tree, you may do so. Breathing here. Returning your hands to heart center. Bringing that knee back to face the front of your mat. And then lifting it up. We'll transition into standing knee to nose by grabbing your big toe with your fingers on your right hand or your knee or your ankle, wherever feels good. But inhale and exhale, bending slightly over that leg that is extended. Inhale, return to a tall spine, and exhale, release your grasp on your leg, returning your foot gently to the earth. We'll take a centering breath here before we transition to the other side. Maybe you want to walk out your feet a little, feel free to do so. Otherwise, on your next inhale, lift through that left heel, coming into your tree, remembering to be strong through that standing foot, your opening through the hip, and through your standing hip. You're not collapsing, but staying strong, maintaining the integrity of your core. If you'd like to grow your tree, do so now. If you can close your eyes here, that can be a fun challenge for your balance. Otherwise, continue to breathe. If you wobble or fall out of the pose, that's okay. Join us when you're able. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your knee so it faces the front of your mat. Lift up through your knee and extend through your foot, taking your left finger, your left toes with your left hand. Inhale, long spine, exhale. If you can, bending over that left leg. right knee will be slightly bent. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, coming out of that pose slowly and carefully. Walk your feet out. And bring your feet to almost as wide as your mat. You can start to sway back and forth. Allowing your hands to do whatever your hands want to do. As long as they're being 
And then returning your feet to hip distance apart. You'll rise your right heel off the ground again and bring your heel up so it begins to rise towards your lower back. And you can grasp towards your foot or your ankle with your right hand. Just stand here. You can stretch through that quad by making minor manipulations. See what feels good. Bring your left hand to your left hip. And as you're able, begin to extend through that back foot and leg, coming up for dancer, extending your left arm in front of yourself as a counterbalance. You can point your toe here or flex. Breathe, one more breath. And exhale, coming back to center, returning that foot to the earth. We'll prepare for dancer on the other side by lifting your left heel. Inhale and exhale, bring that heel towards your lower back, searching for your ankle or your foot. At first, just to start stretching through that quad. This can feel really good. A good stretch to do before or after you go for a run too. Inhale. Exhale, and on your next inhale, begin to reach that left foot back, extend through your right arm. Maybe you wobble here. Breathing, focusing on that focal point, your drishti, and exhaling back to center. Taking your feet again as wide as your mat, taking your toes to 45 degree angles, come down to a yogi squat. Opening through those hips, breathing into your hips. And inhale, rise all the way up to heart center, bringing your feet back to below your hips, blend with a few hip openers, step that right leg back for your crescent lunge, hands up overhead, <sighs> settling in here to your best crescent lunge today. Take your right wrist and your left hand Creating a side bend, breathing into that hip, strung through your back leg, thinking about your knee being over your ankle on that left leg. center for standing figure four. One more breath here. You can do it. Inhale, back to tall mountain. And exhale, forward fold to break up our sides. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, half series. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Step that left foot back for your best, your personal best crescent lunge on your right side. Settling in here, strong through that left leg, strong through that right supporting leg. If you find you're wanting to grasp at your mat with your toes, maybe think about lifting your toes up off the mat and returning them to the earth. Take your left wrist and your right hand, creating that nice side bend to get into your psoas.
freezing here. Inhale, returning to center. And exhale, coming to the front of your mat. Continue through with that left foot, bringing your ankle to just above your right knee and bending into your figure four. Breathing here, we're almost done. mountain. Exhale your hands beside yourself again. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you for joining me in the park for this quickie standing practice. If you have any requests of your own, make them in the comments below. Otherwise, the next video from me will be a hip opening practice. Join me. Namaste.